Hello everyone, and welcome to Unit Home. My name is Michael Thompson, and I'm here with our resident mixologist, Jake Saperstein. And today we're going to take you through our pairing of Strauss's Don Juan and a traditional gin punch. So we chose the gin punch because it's a very summery and fun drink. It uses a lot of citrus fruits, and we really hope you enjoy. I'm going to walk you through the instructions of how to make the drink, and hopefully answer any questions you have along the way. And then afterwards, I'll be back to guide you through the pairing, so you can get the most out of your own experience. All right, so today we're gonna to start off with how to make simple syrup, which you might already have in your bar, but if you don't, it's no problem. It's really easy to make. It's equal parts water and sugar, so you break them down by weight. We did an ounce of each, if you can see that. And what we're just gonna do is take them and pour them into the beaker. From there, you'll just stir until it's clear. Okay, now that this is all dissolved, we're ready to start making the drink. <clears throat> so we're gonna start off by putting a nice big ice cube at the bottom. The reason we use these bigger ice cubes is because they have a larger surface area, which makes them take a longer time to melt. Um, from there, we're gonna just go ahead and add the gin right in. We're starting with two ounces of gin. Next, we're gonna add in an ounce of lemon juice, and after that, we're gonna do an ounce and a half of orange juice. So, I prefer these freshly squeezed, it tastes a lot better. You're gonna mix these in, which give the drink the bulk of the flavor. After that, we're gonna do a half ounce of simple syrup that we prepared earlier. Pour that right in. And the last step is we're just gonna garnish with a little bit of orange rind. You can also use the lemon if you choose. As you can. Outside the glass, drop it in. There's your gin punch. I hope you enjoy. Now that you've made your cocktail, let's talk a little bit about how the drink and the music can work together. Starting from the first explosive run of this piece, you're launched into a vivid and colorful world, depicting a womanizing Spaniard galloping from conquest to conquest, leaving broken hearts all around him. Not only does the citrusy aroma of this drink match perfectly with the music, but also the sheer electricity that you get from every sip uh, matches with Strauss's rich and vibrant orchestration. The piece isn't all happy though. There's a lot of times where you can hear Strauss falling from a different wind, and in these moments you'll get these lustful and beautiful themes. But eventually he moves on and you get back to this heroic music that Strauss is known for writing. During these more introspective moments, we encourage you to delve beneath the citrusy exterior of the drink and savor the flavor of the gin. This flavor lies there unresolved, almost like the Don's endless need for love. We encourage you to follow along with the Don's endless quest for romance and let this delicious gin punch be your guide. Just make sure that your heart doesn't get broken along the way. Thank you for joining us in this pairing. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to leave any feedback in the feedback section of our website. And if you like our content and want to keep it going, we'd really appreciate any help that you could offer. Your help will keep us you know, making creative content weekly and exploring both the world of food and music. With that, thank you so much for joining, and we hope to see you in the